John Gill's Exposition of the Bible text, and he put the breastplate upon him, also he put in the breastplate the Urim and the Thummim, Leviticus 8, 8, Commentary, and he put the breastplate upon him, which was made of the same materials with the ephod, and was put upon it, and fastened to it, also he put in the breastplate the Urim and Thummim, that is, Moses did it, as all the rest, for there is no reason to be given why this should be appropriated to God, as a divine work, distinct from the rest, and these seem to be the twelve precious stones set in the breastplate, whose names are given, Exodus 27, 17 to 20, and if they are not intended, no account is here given of them, but since in, Exodus 29, 8 to 14, an account is given of the stones, and of the setting of them in the breastplate, and no mention is made of the Urim and Thummim, and here notice is taken of them, but nothing said of the stones, it seems pretty plain they must be the same. See Gil on Exodus 28, 30.